Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So this is video 20 in this playlist. And what we're gonna be doing in this video is installing and running a Docker container. So we're gonna be installing Docker on Windows Server 2022. And what we're gonna be doing first, we're gonna go ahead and make sure there's no containers already on this server. We're gonna go ahead and install Docker and configure it through PowerShell. And then we're gonna test this with a .NET sample program. And then we'll finish it up and we'll test everything. All right, so let's go ahead and open up our server in this case. All right, perfect. So let's go ahead and just open up uh, Server Manager. While that's opening, you know, like I always say, if you guys are enjoying the playlist and enjoying my, my channel, you know, please feel free to sub subscribe, share, like, all that good stuff. It's free. So you can just hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell, and you'll get a alerts when there's new stuff that comes out. All right, so let's continue. So we can go to Manage add roles and features. Next, 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 next. And we see containers here. This is how you can do it through the GUI, but we're not gonna do it through the GUI today. We're gonna go do it the fancy PowerShell way. I wanna in incorporate more PowerShell in this playlist than last time. So I figured let's just go do it, right? So the first step we're gonna do is install the module. So if we do install dash module, and in my case, we're gonna be doing Docker. So we're gonna do Docker, uh, Docker, on you can't spell, and FT provide provider. And then we're gonna force that bad boy, okay? I can't type in and talk at the same time. So once this is good, we should uh, be prompted for the next, okay, perfect. If you're prompted to say yes, go ahead and hit yes to make sure everything is good. So the next thing we have to do, install the package, okay? So we're gonna do install dash package. Oops. And then we're gonna do dash name. And my, in my case, it's gonna be Docker, okay? And then we're gonna do a provider name, whoops. Provider name, so I tab that up. And it's gonna be Docker, uh, Docker NSFT. And then provider, provider, okay. So now let's go ahead and hit enter here. We're gonna install that package. We'll give that a moment. Once this prompts us, we should be able to hit yes. Perfect, hit yes to all, yes. And we'll give that a moment. After this default, the Docker default is installed, we're gonna go ahead and have to reboot. So like I said, the program comes from a package source that's not marked as trusted. We trust it. It's in our lab. We're going to test it and go on with his merry way. So once this is good, once this is all done, it's going to, it should prompt us to reboot. And once we reboot, we can make sure we can go onto the server manager and test and verify that the container is actually installed. Okay. So perfect. As you see here, a restart is required to enable the containers feature. Do you want to restart your machine? Yes, so I want to go ahead and restart. Okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and reboot, restart anyway. Okay, so when to reboot our server, and the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and check that Docker was installed. And we're going to do that through the server manager in our case, in our Windows Server 20. Okay, so let's give that a moment. Hope everyone's having a good day enjoying the evening, the morning, the midday, whatever you are, wherever you are. And uh, I thank you so much for checking this video out, learning how to install Docker on Windows Server 2022. This is the same as 20, uh, 2019. So if you have 2019, you want to go ahead and give this a go, do it. You know, this will work on 2019 as well. Okay. So we'll give this a moment to you know, apply those settings because there has been some changes to the server. So we'll give this a moment, maybe a little more than a moment. So also guys, uh, in the comments below, like I would like to hear like the pros and cons, the, the good and the bad, the ugly, you know, like feel free to leave a comment, you know, below 
So I want to know if you guys are enjoying these walkthroughs or this, these courses and how to like, you know, install and configure Windows Server. You know, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot that over to me and I'll try to uh, answer it to the best of my ability, right? Okay, whoops, uh, typo. Okay, so I'm still using the new company, the, the new server that I created for a couple of videos. I just figured that I can still stay on this box since we're not like messing around with any of the other the systems. Uh, like our clients, we don't need any clients to test any of the stuff that we've been doing. Once we need, once I decide to go back onto that server, we'll jump back over there. All right, so let's go back into manage, roles and features. Next, 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 next. Now you can see here, the containers is installed. You see that? Perfect. Awesome. So let's go ahead and minimize all this good stuff. And let's open up PowerShell admin one more time. And let's make this bigger, let's zoom that in a little bit. All right, so there is a few more things I wanna do. So we're gonna get the, so let's do this command. So we're gonna do get Windows features. Oops, those, whoa. Windows feature, and then in here we're gonna do the name, and then we're gonna do the containers. Okay. All right, perfect. So this is installed. We are good here, right? So now what we're gonna do really quick, we're gonna see what version of Docker we're running. So if we do Docker dash dash version, okay? We should see what version. We are running version 20.10.9. And if you wanna see a little more, you can take out dash dash and you can see a little more about the version. You know, the API version, the Go version, all this good stuff. All right, so what we can do now, we can make sure the Docker service is running. So there is a command that we can run. Let's just clear this out. We can do get dash service, whoops. So we can do get dash service Docker. And the, the, let me make this a little larger. And we can see that it's running. So our Docker engine is running. So the last thing I wanna do and I found this on Google, so we can just, you know, you can you can test it. But what I did, I Googled it, and I just threw it on a uh, on a on a notepad so I can remember. Let's just go ahead and whatever this, whatever this, and then whatever this. Just so to let's just go to Google. I spelled Google wrong, but thank God they have a million DNS records for bad spellers like me. So what you can do is just type in like Docker. This is what I did, um, Microsoft uh, sample. So you can you can look around. We can say like okay, like uh, Docker samples. Uh, like uh, let's see, and we went to the same thing. And but you can just Google some images and whatnot. So. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can copy what I have over here and then paste it. I guess not. Let me see if I have bi-directional enabled in my VM. That might help. Let's go ahead and check that out. This is a good setting to have. Whoop. Setting. Okay. Advanced bi-directional. We do have bi-directional, so I should be able to copy Hey, so let me see if I can just open up a notepad. I just don't want to. Let's, let's try this again. See if I can go ahead and copy this. And paste. Perfect. Awesome. Just so I don't have to uh, type all this out because I'm the worst typer. And it's a lot easier just to copy and paste. Let's just copy this. Let's throw this into here and hit enter. And samples from Microsoft. Did I spell something wrong still? Um, let me just look. .NET dash samples, colon, .NET app, nano, nano server dash. Uh, do, 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 pull. There's not exist. Okay. 
So let's just see if there's another one. But if not, we can we can just let's see if I can uh, let's just see. And this is what I pretty much did, and then I so .NET Docker pull. Maybe that one is no good. Containers run out default. Let's just see if this works. Let's go ahead and copy this. Paste it. All right, there we go. So that's why a little Google search, I guess my the one I got from Google didn't work. But so this is going to obviously depend on your internet speed. This is probably going to take some time. Once this is done, you should see an application that pulls down into your dock and container. And we'll give this a moment and see how long this is going to take. Hopefully it doesn't take too, too long. And what I want to do, this is probably, oh, there it goes. It's going pretty quick now. Hopefully it's uh, only that first half. Perfect. So we are good. So now this is, this is how you install and, and, and run. So now what we can do is run that. Let's try to go now. We pulled it. Let's see if we can run it now. There we go. .NET, this is our program. Perfect. So everything, it worked. So that's how you pretty much install Docker on Windows Server 2022. If you guys enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, share. And if you have any questions, leave a comment in the comments below. And until next time, folks, have a good one and be safe. Thank you.